Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Mike here. Today guys, in this video, I'm going to be doing a full camera test of the iPhone 6 Plus and the iPhone 6. So this is an interesting video of a camera test. I'm actually going to be comparing both cameras in this video. Right now I'm filming from the front camera of my iPhone 6 Plus, and that's the same as what you get on the iPhone 6, so you already have an idea of the quality. There's a really nice uh, pine tree, whatever you want to call that. Uh, you can see it's kind of, kind of like motion reduced. It's a little weird. Uh, it, kind of, it tries to fix the shakiness, so you'll see that my face is looking a little weird as I shake that. It just, it's like motion reduction almost. It's, it's actually a really cool feature. This, it's the same case on the uh, iPhone 6 but it's a little bit different when it comes to the rear camera on the back of the iPhone 6 Plus. And so today, uh, in this video, I'm going to be comparing uh, the back camera of both of them, the iPhone 6 Plus and the iPhone 6, side by side, just so you guys can get an idea uh, of which camera is better, which one looks nicer. They're both really nice cameras, but some have uh, nicer features than the other one. So the 6 Plus is a little bit nicer, like I said, than the 6. So let's check it out. All right, so I am now filming with both uh, the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus. So I have these both side by side right now, one on top of the other, as a matter of fact. So we're looking at my car tire right here. I'm just going to get you guys an idea of the difference of the quality. We're going to kind of uh, focus in right there on assurance, whatever that is. So you can kind of see it's just a little bit different. Uh, if I go quickly up, you can probably see that the 6 Plus focuses just a little bit faster uh, than the 6 does. It's a little weird. Uh, since the 6 is a little bit higher than the 6 Plus, but it's not so bad. Get really close on that Subaru logo right there. You can just see the detail comparison side by side uh, versus the iPhone 6 Plus and the 6. Have a look at my somewhat dirty headlights right here. Try to focus in on the inside there. All this chrome and metal. Come over here to the Subaru logo. Focus in on that. The cameras are still really nice quality. Uh, you know, they're 8 megapixels, uh, but they have... They have uh, you know, they have improvements in the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus. And you'll probably see that the 6 Plus just looks a tad better. Uh, both have focus pixels now, so it looks uh, better and not so shaky. And it's got like that motion effect in pictures and stuff like that. And when taking video stabilization, improved video stabilization has uh, been included as well. Uh, and motion reduction, so it doesn't look so shaky. It shouldn't look that bad. Uh, you know, if I kind of move up and down, like if I'm on a car or a bike, uh, for example, We'll come over here and get a close-up on the bush. You can see there, pretty good. I really don't, you, the, the goal with the iPhone 6 is you don't have to tap to focus that much. And as you can see, that is the case. I'm actually not tapping at all because I'm using both hands uh, to film this video. It's a little bit hard with both, both hands. But you can just see uh, how quickly it focuses in and out. If I move in and out, it kind of just gets it down and fixes the video, it makes it correct looking, uh, which is a really, really nice feature. And I think the 6 Plus has an extra feature, which is optical image stabilization. I always get confused, uh, but on the 6 Plus, the camera lens actually moves in all different directions um, in order to focus things much faster and get uh, much nicer shots. So you'll focus on these little uh, buds here, these white buds. You can see how clear that looks on the 6 and the 6 Plus. It's a pretty nice overall. They're both, again, we're both really nice cameras. Whichever phone you go with, you're going to be getting great photo and video uh, either way. So there you go. A quick look and then I'll quickly, I'll, I'll go in like really close on a leaf or something and I'll come out all of a sudden and you just see how quickly that bush focuses. Really nice. Have a closer look at some of these, some of the parts of this pine tree. Just so you get an idea. Still really nice photo quality. Just get an overlook of this pine tree. We'll get really close on some of these pine leaves here. Just to give an idea. Look at those macro shots it provides. Something I've always loved about the iPhone. Uh, ever since the iPhone 4S, you've been able to get these macro shots, uh, and they just look fantastic. It's really, really nice. Uh, and I feel like every iPhone, they just continue to improve which is fantastic. Macro shots are some of my favorite because they provide the best detail and it makes, quite honestly, the iPhone one of the best point shoot cameras that you can get out there, which is fantastic. Just to close up the video, we'll get a close look at the grains of this brick, the inside rock of the brick. Just see those, again, that macro shot, that beautiful macro shot that iPhone always provides. It's just so nice. Uh, close up, get a real close look at detail with anything, to be honest. These clovers, we get a close up on. Hopefully, that focuses. Come on, autofocus. There we go. 
somewhat focused. Okay. And there you go. So there you guys go, that is the rear camera test on the iPhone 6 Plus and iPhone 6. I know I said the 6 Plus would look a little bit better, but quite honestly, while I was filming that entire video, both of them looked pretty much the same and really nice. Whichever phone you choose, either way, you're going to be getting beautiful picture and outstanding video. Uh, so that shouldn't be the case when you're choosing either the 6 or 6 Plus. You should really think about uh, the size difference and stuff like that. Yes, the 6 Plus has uh, a bit of a better camera, you know, when it comes to quick focusing and stuff like that, but you're going to be getting pretty much the same image and video uh, out of either camera. So you shouldn't have to worry about that that much, but I wanted to show you guys that. Um, camera tests are my favorite thing to do uh, when it comes to video quality or picture quality because, again, the iPhone is hands down one of the best point and shoot cameras on the market. If you don't have uh, money for something like a DSLR, this is the next best option, and seriously, it is. Um, so yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave some comments below on your thoughts. Of course, rate, give this video a thumbs up. Appreciate it. Helps me out a lot. And click the subscribe button below. Stay tuned to the rest uh, for the rest of the week of all my iPhone 6 coverage, and I'll see you guys in the next video.